Welcome to the Desk Up. Breaking news. Bum, bum, bum. Nick Young investigated for robbery. Allegedly struck man in genitals. <laughs> Apparently what happened is Nick was at a quote, popular LA car wash. Hey man, I'm going down the car wash. You meet me there and hang out. Somebody tried to take a picture of Nick Young and asked him, can I take a picture? And Nick was like, no. This is allegedly, according to the man whose testicles were marred by Nick. The guy took the picture anyway. Nick hit him in the nuts and took his phone. Now here's the issue that, that we're coming across. Yeah. Six foot seven, Nick Young. Like, what is the angle? How did he get down there? Did, was it? I think it's a tap. I think it was the tap. Yeah, it's gotta be a tap. Yeah, yeah. if you whip it, yeah. if you really get in there like, Listen, nobody's gonna snitch. This is LA's. No snitching, Steph Curry. Maybe you could learn a lesson here. Ooh. Here is Steph doing a step back move. Uh. One, two, three, four. Ah! Every James Harden three right there. Well, <laughs> Why did he not get called and we, we get called one? Why? <laughs> So uh, Steph agrees with that take. Steph Curry putting up James Harden's uniform number after getting called for the James Harden travel. It is backwards. To Steph, it's forwards. Yeah, but to me, it's it's Jason Terry. Yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Here's my issue. That's a dry snitch. Mm. Clear dry snitch, right? Just keep your mind on your own business, yeah. Steph. Uh, hey, remember when KD was like standing five feet out of bounds? <laughs> yeah. Somebody should try that and be like, well, I'm just saying, why can't I stand five feet out of bounds like some other people in this league? Stop snitching, Golden State, you're good, just relax. Here's uh, one thing we can all agree on, uh, Clay is the most likable warrior. Here's uh, Clay, wait, hold on, let me put on some. Uh... What do I like? Yeah. Life, food, my dog. I feel refreshed. I feel inc I feel like I've been cleansed. Big news! Jimmy Butler has his own coffee cups. I need to know more about like what the business decision behind this because apparently it's been going on for months. Oh, the man behind it all. Oh, so this is Jimmy's agent. For the last year, I've been waiting on someone to notice these. What a great use of money. Let's definitely <laughs> let's definitely spend uh, low thousands on coffee cups. And instead of telling people about it, let's for five retweets. I know that's a man. When can I cop? This is obviously a burner. Yeah. Of, of so <laughs> Who's like the worst NBA player with the custom logo? Yeah, let's Kuzma's logo is pretty good. He has a logo. He's not good enough to have a logo. You know who uh, Lonzo Ball's logo also bad? <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Kawhi it's literally the Overwatch logo no, also. Kawhi's, Kawhi's logo. Sucks. This is like Saruman. <laughs> It's the hand of Saruman. Harden logo? Let's quick, quick logo. It looks like the History Channel. Here's uh, Luca's logo. This is logo? This is his logo. Oh yeah, Carmelo logo. Tramp stamp. It is legitimately a tramp stamp. Anyway, moving on. That was, a, that was a nice aside. And now for some spice, for your zone, Amanda Dobbins. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jason. Amanda, what do you have? Jason. Yes. So I assume you're aware that last week during all of the Sixers drama, Yes. Noted interview giver, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy James Butler. Missed two games. Not one, but two, because he had an upper respiratory it infection. It happens. This time of year, it gets cold, you know, people coughing yeah. and not washing their hands. Here's my question. Did he? Did he? Oh. Is upper respiratory infection code for nobody wants to deal with this joker? Oh! I'm just asking. Also, can you pull up the symptoms? Can you just like Google uh, respiratory, respiratory infection? Respiratory. Can you read those for me? Sore throat, sneezing, stuffy nose, and okay. cough. Okay, we don't have medication for that? Hors hoarseness and laryngitis. We, we, can't, we can't treat that with a doctor? Is that the reason that you're on the sidelines, Jimmy Butler? Ooh. I'm just saying. Ooh. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, Coach Snibs got fired. <laughs> Weirdly, people made a big deal out of like, they fired him in his office. Don't you just fire someone where you find them? Where is he gonna be? In his office. <laughs> Mose, how do you feel about Son of Flip? Uh, so far so good. Oh my God, it, <laughs> the spice is, is singeing my membranes right now. Woj, tell us. Woj looks like he can't wait. Sources. <laughs> Eric, Fred Hoiberg is a serious consideration of Minnesota owner Glenn Taylor to become either the GM or the head, you know, just either though, either one. <laughs> Hoiberg was an assistant at GM in Minnesota, for God's sakes. Glenn, 
There are other areas of the country outside of Minnesota where people of talent, a good work ethic, live and have built their careers and they can come in and help you. You don't have, just have to be like, well, uh, Flip had a son. Fred Hoiberg was once assisted here. Tom Thibodeau was here in 1990. Come on! Family album. Here's The Hoop Central. They reported, the Spurs have serious interest in Chris Epps Porzingis per The Ringer. Now, it's, you know, people were tweeting at me, are you scared of the blah blah? No, I'm not scared because name one free agent that ever went to the Spurs. Name one. Yeah, Rudy Gay. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so Hoop Central tweeted this and Chris Epps Porzingis then uh, just put the block on him. And Chris Epps, that was by accident, be my bad. Do we buy this? What do we think about this excuse that it was an accidental blocking? Have you ever accidentally blocked people? We're gonna take it to the focus group. Welcome to uh, NBA Desktop's focus group. I'm here with a cross section of Ringer staffers, just regular American citizens who work for a media company. I wanna know if anybody here has ever been called out for blocking, unfollowing, muting someone on any social media platform. And what do you make of this excuse? Do you, can you accidentally block someone? Show of hands, who thinks he's lying? Wow, 90% of my, 100% believe that he's lying. If you are scrolling, it is exceedingly easy to sure. like something that you didn't mean to like. I agree with that. Yeah, but I mean, blocking, nah. <laughs> now what about butt dialing? As, may I just say, yeah. as someone whose name begins with A and who is this very high in most contact lists, I get a lot of butt dials. It's still happening in 2019. Let me go, let me just go around the room. What are your best excuses for when you get called out for any kind of engagement, like whether it's a, a like or block or what have you? Your favorite excuse. Let's start here, Amelia. Um, my favorite is the Kim Kardashian defense because oh. she posted a picture of her in a bikini and she was like, it was my daughter North. That's you just blame any young child in your proximity. That's great. Jason, now you have, a, you have a young human being. I do. I just have to say that that would be my go-to immediate. Kids grab phones. Kids do all sorts of things. Right. My son has done things Likes that I didn't want to. Likes bikini pics, constantly liking <laughs> bikini pics It's just a weird, <laughs> it's a weird thing. Yeah. It's got to be the finger slip. Because it's po slip. theoretically possible. You, know, you, cl you click block by accident. And then, oh, yeah. you know, when you're nervous, you just press yes. And you're like, oh, Why, you, for you, you forget. Are you, you nervous on Instagram often? I don't know. Like, you press the button. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just not. <laughs> quivering. <laughs> Haley. Um, <laughs> just deny it happened. I like never it. Happened. I'm with just that. Deny, 100%. deny, 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 deny. Yeah. I was never even following you. Yeah. But that's great. Thanks for pointing it out. I'll follow you. Deny, deny, awesome. deny. Right. Yeah, yeah, gaslight them into thinking they're the crazy one. And then when they keep bringing it up, you're like, why are you so obsessed yeah. with me? Like, why is this such a big deal? Yeah, I don't even look at my followers. Right. Amanda. I'm gonna take the Annie up. Just be like, yes, I did. You're annoying. I Own like it. it. <laughs> it's 2019. If you're checking your notifications, you probably deserve to be unfollowed. Fire. I like it. Jason. I still say blame the youth, blame the children. Right, blame the children. If there's a child in your vicinity, blame it on that child. Micah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the why are you bringing up old stuff defense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's probably what I use most. Well, thank you all of you for uh, taking part in this uh, NBA desktop focus group. Uh, it's been delightful. Chris has Porzingis, do better. Come on. Fade blocks! Yay! Yay! Uncanny oh, resemblance. Yeah. We have to click on it. Myers Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this crazy. I fave it. Oh, here's my guy. Carmelo Anthony fishing, saltwater fishing. Look at that. Is that a, what is that? Any marine biologist? <laughs> That's a fish? Thank you. Good job. That is a serious fish. This is a guy who does not want to come back to the NBA. I save it. Flop King. Oh, this is incredible. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what this reminds me of. Well, that's that's the Nicky Young. That's Nicky Young's move. <laughs> this is it. That's it! I save it. <laughs> Rookie of the Year, Jason Gallagher's other favorite player, Ryan Brokoff. Here he is being interviewed for his job as a member of the Geek Squad. <laughs> love computers, really love technology. <laughs> yeah, open source is the way of the future, uh, guys. It's blockchain. Oh, I favorite. Why?